The following operator's training video is a supplement to the owner's manual, included with your machine. The Patiomatic Model PS21 is a fully automatic machine that can produce 2100 patties per hour and is UL EPH classified, which is certified to NSF ANSI standards. This machine is interlocked to ensure operator's safety. The standard PS21 is equipped with a 75 pound capacity feed tray. It also stacks patties while interleaving paper. Unplug the machine from its power supply. Remove the feed tray. Remove the mold plate guard by loosening the guard bolts with the tool provided, unlatching the pushrod collar, and lifting it from the machine. Remove the pressure plate by disconnecting the spring. Using the tool provided with the machine, loosen the feeder bolt and rotate the feeder washer until it is clear. Remove the feeder from the hopper by sliding the retractable meat stop out of the hopper and lifting the feeder from the machine. To remove the chamber lid, loosen the bolts and lift it off of the hopper. Loosen the two hopper hold down bolts Lift the hopper from the machine. Remove the double seal spacer plate from the machine. A double seal spacer plate is needed for any size mold under three quarters of an inch. Disconnect the mold plate from the connecting arm. If needed, unscrew the knob to disconnect the mold plate. Using the tool provided, remove the knockout cup assembly. The parts that were removed from the machine should be washed, rinsed, and sanitized. Wipe all surfaces of the machine, especially where product can accumulate. The machine itself should be washed, rinsed, and sanitized by hand. Do not use a hose or pressure washer to clean the machine. Make sure the parts are dry before assembling the machine. Attach the mold plate to the connecting arm. Place the spacer plate on the machine with the O-rings facing up and the small hole towards the front of the machine. Place the hopper over the shaft onto the machine and slide the slots under the hold down bolts. Make sure the retaining rod is all the way into the double seal spacer plate by lifting it from its storage position and turning it until it slides into the double seal spacer plate's location hole. Place the chamber lid over the hold down bolts and onto the hopper. Using the tool provided, tighten all four bolts, two on the hopper and two on the chamber lid. Do not over tighten or use any other tool to tighten the bolts. Place the feeder over the shaft. Be sure the retractable meat stop is out of the hopper so the feeder can go all the way onto the shaft. Twist the feeder washer until it is under the hold down bolt and tighten the bolt with the tool provided. Do not over tighten or use any other tool. Slide the pressure plate in place and attach the spring collar over the pin. Install the mold plate guard by placing it over the guard bolts, sliding it into position and tightening the bolts using the tool provided. Insert the push rod and collar into the round key latch and turn to the lock position. Install the feed tray. Be sure to place the tray plunger inside the safety sleeve. Plug the machine into its power supply. Turn the machine on. Stop the machine with the knockout arm in the down position. 
Make sure there is no space between the arm and the cabinet. Unplug the machine and remove the feed tray. Remove the mold plate guard. Assemble the knockout cup components. The proper order is as follows. Start with the bolt, then the large washer, then the air valve, then the knockout cup is shown. Finally, the plastic washer. Attach the knockout cup assembly to the machine. Be sure the washer and lock washer are directly under the wing nut as shown. Align the knockout cup in the center of the mold. Using the tool provided, tighten the wing nut. Make sure the knockout cup stays in the center of the mold. Install the feed tray and mold plate guard and plug your machine into the power supply. Install patty paper over the center pin. Up to one inch of paper can be used at one time. This is around 250 sheets. Paper location can be adjusted if needed. See owner's manual for details. Your PS21 patty machine is ready for operation. Load the feed tray with up to 75 pounds of product. Proper operation requires the product to be pushed through or under the guard into the feed mechanism. Do not use a stomper or plunger to feed product. Turn on the machine. It may take a few cycles to properly fill your patty. Allow the patties to stack on the table or the receiving table provided with the machine. Do not catch the patties by hand. The operator can continue to feed product while the machine is running. This is only needed after producing 12 to 15 pounds of patties. Paper may be added while the machine is running. The pin in the pressure plate can be adjusted for individual product or appearance needs. See the owner's manual for further information. Daily maintenance requires these six spots to be lubricated using the lubrication provided with the machine. There is one grease fitting that the factory suggests to grease monthly. For further information, please contact your local authorized dealer or contact Patiomatic Incorporated at 877-938-5244. Visit us on the web at patiomatic.com.